2021, Shohei Otani had what is considered to be the best individual season in baseball history, and yet, he's only gotten better since. With a fastball that reaches 100 miles an hour and the power to hit home runs over 450 feet, baseball has never seen a player quite like Shohei Otani. He's currently on pace to have the best career in MLB history, and many predict that in the next offseason, Otani will sign a contract worth over half a billion dollars. However, throughout his career, he's also been described as selfish, a major risk, and injury prone. But there's one thing we know for sure, in that ever since he picked up a baseball, it was evident that Otani was born to play. He was born in Japan in 1994, starting his baseball journey at just 8 years old. And by the time he was in high school, he was already throwing 99 miles an hour on the mound and hitting over 500 at the plate. So despite only being a junior in high school, MLB scouts became well aware of Otani's talent. And during his senior year, he made it known that he wanted to go straight to America directly out of high school, which had never been done before by any Japanese player. But Otani wasn't like other players, and he had been waiting for this moment his entire life, saying that it's not about the money, it's about following my dream. But what he didn't know was that this dream was further away than he thought it was. After realizing that he would spend the first few years of his career in the minor leagues, Otani decided on a different path. So instead, he chose to wait, and he spent a few years as the only two-way player in Japan, and it seems like he made the right choice. In his first few seasons, he was dominant on the mound, but at the plate, it was a different story. He was considered to be a below average hitter who was taking away at bats from real players. And many people thought that Otani should stick to pitching and honestly just give up on being a two way player. But of course, that's not what happened, and in 2016, he had his best season by far. As a pitcher, Otani continued to shine, posting a 1.86 ERA with 174 strikeouts in 140 innings. And not to mention, during this season, he also threw the fastest pitch in Japanese history at 102.5 miles per hour. 2016 was also his best year at the plate, and he was starting to prove that he was a real hitter, and not just wasting a spot in the lineup. In 382 plate appearances, Otani hit 322 with 22 home runs and an OPS a little over 1000. So it finally seemed like everything was coming together for Otani, and one scout said that I've been doing this for 26 years, but I've never seen a skill set like this. And as you could imagine, this caught the the attention of several MLB teams like the Dodgers, the Giants, and the Angels. So at this point, Otani was fully ready to make the move, but there was one problem. Otani was only 23 at this point in time, and he still had two years before he could be considered a free agent. And as a result, if he decided to sign with the US team before then, he would potentially be missing out on hundreds of millions of dollars. But honestly, he didn't really care, and in 2017, he ended up signing with the Angels for just over $2 million. Now, many people wonder why Otani chose the Angels, but the main reason was that they promised to give him a shot at being a two-way player, which many teams were not willing to do. So leading up to his debut in 2018, the anticipation across the league was extremely high. I mean, after all, he was slated to be the first two-way player in the majors in nearly a century. However, this excitement also came with concern that he wouldn't be able to keep up with this insane workload. And after he completed his first season with the Angels, people were afraid that these fears were coming true. On April 1st of 2018, Otani made his debut as a DH, singling in his first at bat, but that would be his only hit for the day. Six days later, he made his pitching debut against the A's, allowing three runs and striking out six batters over six innings, and getting his first MLB win. Over the course of the entire season, he hit 285 with 22 home runs and posted a 3.31 ERA over 10 starts. And while these stats were not quite as good as his 2016 season in Japan, they were still good enough to win Rookie of the Year. However, in September of 2018, Otani was made aware that he had to undergo Tommy John surgery. And this was devastating for Otani, as it meant that his 2018 season was over and that he wouldn't be able to pitch for the entire 2019 season. And this wasn't just a routine injury. It threatened the very foundation of his career as a two-way player, casting doubt on his future. But despite this setback, Otani would have to settle for only being a hitter in the 2019 season. One of the major highlights of that year came on June 13th, when he hit for the cycle against the Rays, becoming the first Japanese-born player to do so in MLB history. Over the course of the season, he continued putting up solid numbers at the plate, hitting 286 with 18 home runs. But once again, injuries were proving to be a major issue for Otani. 
In September of 2019, he was once again shut down early for the season, this time as a result of knee surgery. And next season, his comeback as a two-way player proved to be difficult to say the least. In his first start back after Tommy John surgery, Otani was unable to record an out, and he was taken out of the game after facing only six batters and giving up five runs. And shortly after that game, he was shut down as a result of a strain in his pitching arm. Now, as a hitter, Otani also regressed with a 190 batting average the lowest of his MLB career by far. So overall, this was not a good year for Otani, but it set the stage for one of the best comeback seasons in baseball history. 2021 needed to be a successful year for Otani. With injury after injury, he had yet to play an entire season as a two-way player, and it was starting to look like he never would. However, Otani proved that to be completely wrong, putting up one of the best individual seasons in MLB history. At the plate, Otani recorded a 965 OPS and hit 46 home runs with 100 RBIs. And not to mention, he also ranked 8th in the MLB in stolen bases with 26. As for his pitching, this was his first full season without any arm injuries, and he posted a 9-2 record with an ERA of 3.18. This level of production on both sides of the field had never been seen before in baseball. He was selected the unanimous MVP of the American League, and became the first Japanese-born player to win MVP. He was even listed as one of the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine. So needless to say, 2021 was definitely a good year for Otani. But what if I told you that his next season would be even better? Otani entered the 2022 season with extremely high expectations, and he not only met them, but also exceeded them. After his final start, Otani had an ERA of just 2.33 and 219 strikeouts in just over 160 innings. He was also extremely consistent, something that we hadn't seen from Otani so far. In his 28 starts, he allowed two runs or fewer in 22 of them. And oh yeah, he also set the record for the hardest hit by a left-hander in Major League history at 119 miles an hour. Overall, at the plate, Otani hit 34 home runs and had 95 RBIs. And unsurprisingly, he became the first player in history to be chosen as an all-star twice in the same season, as the DH and the starting pitcher. And the craziest part of all is that he might even finish with his best season yet in 2023, because he's on pace for 48 home runs and an OPS over 1,000. And right now, he's definitely on track for his second MVP season. So as you can tell, there's a legitimate reason why there may never be another player like Shohei Otani. Being a two-way player and excelling in both roles is almost impossible, and yet, he's doing it. So if you're still doubting Otani, I would just try to really understand what you're witnessing, and to not let it pass you by without realizing it.